NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. Out in the interstellar darkness, something is awake. NASA just tried to use Voyager 1, a relic of the 70s, to intercept an interstellar object named 3I Atlas. But you won't believe what happened next. The probe sent a signal and 3I Atlas seems to have sent one back. But this wasn't a friendly hello. This was a cascade of impossible events that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The thing nobody tells you is that this object may have been waiting for us. What Voyager 1 just did wasn't discovery. It was activation, and the consequences are truly unimaginable. A risky maneuver. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, a mechanical marvel destined to explore the outer planets. After giving us breathtaking views of Jupiter and Saturn, its primary mission was over, but it just kept going. For decades, it has sailed silently into the unknown, a testament to human curiosity coasting through the interstellar medium a lonely bottle carrying a message from a world it left behind. The thing nobody tells you is that its mission wasn't truly over. In a move that was never meant for public knowledge, a handful of engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory attempted the impossible. They reactivated certain directional systems on Voyager 1, not to change its course, but to reorient its instruments for a once-in-a-lifetime observation. Their target was an object designated 3I Atlas. Discovered in July of 2025, 3I Atlas was the third confirmed interstellar visitor to our solar system. But it was different from Oumuamua and Borisov. It was bigger, moving at a blistering 93,000 miles per hour, and its trajectory was, to put it mildly, bizarre. It wasn't just passing through, it was moving with a strange precision that baffled astronomers. Many people are crazy about these interstellar mysteries, but Atlas was on another level. The most shocking fact is its composition. Initial scans suggested it wasn't a loose collection of ice and rock, but a dense, coherent body, possibly metallic, with a ridiculously smooth surface that reflected light in ways no natural asteroid should. The plan was simple, elegant, and borderline insane. Using faint communication pulses that take nearly a full day to reach the probe, engineers would subtly recalibrate Voyager 1's plasma wave and magnetometer instruments. They would point them toward a narrow slice of space where 3I Atlas was predicted to pass, creating a passive listening post 15 billion miles from Earth. If it worked, Voyager 1 would become our first interstellar sentinel eavesdropping on an object from another star system. It was a long shot, a desperate attempt to learn anything more about this cosmic stranger. But what many overlooked is that when you listen to the void, sometimes the void listens back. And in this case, it didn't just listen, it responded. Just days after 3I Atlas entered Voyager's new observational window, the unimaginable happened. An alert flared up at a deep space monitoring station in Australia. It wasn't from Voyager. It was a spike in Earth's own magnetosphere. Instruments designed to detect solar flares picked up a ripple in the electromagnetic field but the signature was all wrong. These were directed energy patterns, pulsing with an unnatural rhythm. And the source wasn't the sun or anything in our solar system. The fluctuations were oriented outward, pointing back along the exact path 3I Atlas had just traveled. It was as if a signal had been fired from deep space, bounced off our planet's magnetic field, and echoed back into the darkness. NASA officially stayed silent. But insiders reported that at the very same moment, Voyager 1's systems recorded a burst of noise unlike anything in its 48-year history. This is where the story gets truly terrifying. The only way Voyager could have received a signal that strong that clear is if 3I Atlas wasn't a passive chunk of alien metal. It was a responsive object, something that could emit its own powerful electromagnetic footprint, something that reacts. The probe had just knocked on a stranger's door and something inside had just turned the handle. A code in the noise. The data that came back from Voyager 1 was immediately classified. What little has leaked out from anonymous sources paints a picture that defies all known physics. You see, the signal wasn't just a random burst of energy. 
When analysts at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory ran the raw data through pattern recognition software, they found something that made their blood run cold. Buried within the static was a structured, repeating sequence, a complex harmonic pattern that repeated every 19.7 minutes with perfect mathematical precision. It was too orderly to be noise, too complex to be a natural phenomenon like a pulsar. Imagine sending a single drum beat into a cave and hearing a full symphony echo back. That's what this was. A response. An intelligent one. But here's where a wild story becomes something far more chilling. The signal seemed to be learning. The first few bursts were faint, distorted by the vast distance and Voyager's ancient antenna. But each subsequent pulse was clearer, stronger, and more refined. It was as if the sender was actively compensating for the probe's limitations, adjusting its own transmission to be better understood. This is a process known as adaptive signal correction, a technology we are only just beginning to develop. The most shocking fact is that whatever sent this signal was doing it effortlessly across billions of miles of empty space. The internal NASA AI system, designed specifically to flag potential non-human transmissions, reportedly went into overdrive, tagging the signal with a classification that had never been used before. Reciprocal intelligence. And you can see this everywhere if you know where to look. While the world was kept in the dark, amateur astronomers began noticing strange things about 3i Atlas itself. Its light curve, the way its brightness fluctuates, began to flicker. It wasn't the random tumble of an asteroid, it was a rhythmic pulse, an on and off cycle that perfectly mirrored the timestamps of Voyager's transmission bursts. Then the unthinkable happened. It slowed down. Not by much, just a fraction of a percent, but it was a measurable deceleration not caused by gravity or any outgassing. An interstellar object traveling at nearly 100,000 miles per hour had just tapped the brakes. It did so only after the signal exchange with Voyager. The implications were staggering. Was this a reply, a cosmic conversation starter? This event forced scientists to confront a possibility they had always dismissed as pure science fiction. They were not just observing an object, they were engaged in a real-time interaction with it. The leaked metadata from the signal contained another terrifying detail. It wasn't just a complex pattern, it contained a nested prime number sequence. This sequence was identical to a theoretical universal greeting proposed by mathematicians decades ago as a way for any intelligent species to prove its non-natural origin. 3i Atlas wasn't just saying hello, it was saying we are here and we know you are too. The question was no longer if we were alone. The question was, what had we just awakened? A conspiracy of silence. The discovery of an intelligent responsive signal from deep space should have been the biggest news in human history. Instead, the world was met with a deafening silence. Within hours of the signal's confirmation, a coordinated information blackout began. The SETI Institute's Allen Telescope Array, which had been secretly pointed at 3i Atlas, abruptly cut its public data feeds, citing unscheduled system maintenance. You see, behind the scenes, a far more frantic operation was underway. Researchers and astronomers who had been discussing the strange behavior of 3i Atlas on private forums suddenly had their posts and accounts deleted. Their research vanished from university servers. One prominent astrophysicist who had posted a preliminary analysis of the signal's prime number sequence on a preprint server saw his paper vanish overnight. He later posted a cryptic message on social media. They are not letting us talk. This is not for us to know yet. He disappeared from the platform a day later. This wasn't just damage control, it was a systematic erasure of evidence. The thing nobody tells you is that national security agencies across the globe issued classified memos to their scientific communities strongly advising against any public discussion of recent deep space anomalies. The message was clear. Forget what you saw. The public was not ready for this. But why the secrecy? Many people are crazy about conspiracy theories, but this was different. What many overlooked was the second part of the signal. After the mathematical greeting, the signal's waveform contained something else, something deeply unsettling. It was a complex geometric pattern that, when decoded, perfectly mapped the constellations of our night sky. But not as they appear today. It was a star map of Earth's sky as it looked over 11,000 years ago. 
This is where the mystery deepens into something ancient and terrifying. This 11,000-year-old star map precisely matched the astronomical alignments of some of Earth's oldest megalithic structures, like Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. These ancient sites were built to align with celestial bodies, but no one knew exactly why they pointed to seemingly empty patches of sky. Now they had an answer. They were pointing to the exact trajectory that 3i Atlas was now following. The odds of this being a coincidence are not just low, they are statistically zero. What if these ancient builders weren't just stargazers? What if they were leaving a warning? A message carved in stone for future generations, telling us where to look and perhaps what to expect. Voyager 1 hadn't made a new discovery. It had just stumbled into a cosmic cycle that was thousands of years old, confirming a truth that our ancestors may have already known. We weren't the first to see this visitor, and the silence was meant to hide that terrible fact. The Monolith Hypothesis The final piece of this impossible puzzle lies with Voyager 1 itself. On board is the Golden Record, a gold-plated copper disc containing sounds and images from Earth, a greeting to any civilization that might find it. For decades, it was seen as a poetic gesture, a symbol of our hope to connect with the cosmos. But not all things are what they seem. A small group of cryptologists re-examining the original digital blueprints of the record's audio found something hidden beneath the sounds of wind, whales, and human laughter. It was a single, ultra-low frequency tone, undetectable to the human ear, embedded in the recording. A digital watermark. When they isolated this tone, they discovered it contained a repeating sequence. The most shocking fact is that this sequence was a perfect mathematical inverse to the prime number sequence broadcast by 3i Atlas. It wasn't just a greeting, it was a key, a call and response protocol designed to unlock a reply from a very specific listener. The Voyager probe, our message in a bottle, was unknowingly carrying the one signature in the universe that could activate whatever 3i Atlas truly is. This transforms the entire event. Voyager 1 didn't just happen to intercept this object. The encounter may have been the entire point of its 50-year journey. We thought we were saying hello, but the message we actually sent was, we are ready. This brings us to a terrifying revision of an old theory, the monolith hypothesis. The idea that an advanced civilization wouldn't travel the galaxy in ships, but would instead seed it with dormant technological artifacts, or seeds. These seeds would lie in wait for thousands of years, silent and inert, until an emerging species, like humanity, reached a specific technological milestone, like launching a probe capable of reaching interstellar space and broadcasting a specific mathematical key. 3i Atlas isn't a ship or an asteroid. It's a trigger, a cosmic doorbell, and Voyager 1 just rang it. Now it is awake. For weeks, we built a fortress of denial around the data, dismissing the slight deviations in its course as gravitational perturbations, sensor anomalies, anything but intent. Every new reading was met with a new, increasingly desperate explanation. A pocket of asymmetric outgassing from a frozen core, the gentle push of solar radiation on an unusually reflective surface. Even the wild theory of an undiscovered magnetic field interacting with the solar wind. We told ourselves these were the final echoes of its long journey, the random spasms of a dying cosmic beast. But in the last 48 hours, the object we designated 3i Atlas has shattered our comfortable illusions. It has changed its trajectory again, and this time, there is no room for doubt. This wasn't a subtle slowdown or a gentle nudge from an unseen body. It was a deliberate powered maneuver, an impossible burn executed with no visible plume, no detectable energy signature, a violation of celestial mechanics that has rendered our most advanced models obsolete. The entity is no longer an interstellar wanderer heading back into the cold void. It is now on a stable, controlled course, moving with the chilling precision of a surgeon's scalpel toward a gravitationally perfect perch just beyond Neptune's orbit. This isn't a random destination, it's a watchtower, a place of perfect equilibrium from which to observe the entire inner solar system, a high ground chosen with strategic brilliance. It has stopped running, it's waiting, 
Every telescope on and off this planet is now fixed upon it, listening to a silence more profound and terrifying than any message could be. It is poised in the darkness like an apex predator that has finally found its hunting ground, and for the first time in our history, we understand with absolute certainty that we are no longer alone. We are simply prey. We reached out into the darkness, and now the darkness has a foothold in our backyard. Was the golden record a message of peace or the biggest mistake in human history? Like and subscribe for more answers. Four.